Let's take a question under implicit differentiation. The question says, find the dy over dx by implicit differentiation. That is for 3x squared plus 2xy plus 4y cubed. That's 4y exponent 3 equals 0. So to solve this, first let's rewrite the equation, which is 3x squared plus 2xy plus 4y cubed equals 0. We want to find dy over dx. But to do that, the first thing we are going to do is to differentiate 3x squared with respect to x. So that should give us what? 2 multiplying the whole thing, okay? Then we subtract 1 from the exponent. Then we write dx plus... Now, we take this also, the 2xy. First, we differentiate it with respect to x first. Now, x has an exponent of 1, isn't it? So we multiply the whole thing by 1 and then subtract 1 from the exponent of x. Okay, so that will give us 1 multiplying 2x exponent 1 minus 1. Since x has an exponent of 1, then times y. Now, since we differentiate with respect to x, then we write dx also there. Now, it's not done. We also differentiate this same thing with respect to y since it has two variables there. So since there's a plus here, then we write plus. Now differentiating this with respect to y, remember y also has an exponent of 1. So we multiply the whole thing by what? By 1 and subtract 1 from the exponent of y. So that will also be 1 multiplying 2x y exponent 1 minus 1. Okay. Then... For this one, this time around, we differentiate with respect to y, so we have to write it dy, okay? Then plus, now we differentiate this with respect to y, since y is the only variable there. So we multiply the whole thing by the exponent, which is 3, and then subtract 1 from the exponent. So we have 3 multiplying 4y exponent 3 minus 1, dy, because we have, we've differentiated with respect to y equals 0. So let's simplify 2 minus 1 will give you what? 1, isn't it? And 2 times 3 is what? 6. So that should give you 6x, okay, dx plus, now 1 minus 1 is what? 0, isn't it? And any variable or number, exponent 0 should give you 1, isn't it? So if that is the case, then x exponent 1 minus 1 will become 1. So you have 2 times 1 times y, and that will be 2y. And 2y times 1 remains 2y, dx. Then we bring the plus. Then we also solve this one. 1 minus 1 is what? 0, isn't it? y exponent 0 will give you 1. So 1 times x times 2 is 2x. Times the 1 outside the bracket remains 2x. Okay. And then we have dy here. So we write it dy plus... Now, 3 minus 1 is 2, isn't it? And this 3 here times 4 is what? It's 12. So that will give us 12y exponent 2, isn't it? So we write that also down. 12y exponent 2. But we have dy, so we write the dy equals 0. So at this stage, we can group like terms. Now to group like them, all the ones that contain dy, we can maintain them at the left. And then send the ones having dx to the right. So we have what? 2x dy, which is this. Okay. Plus 12y squared dy equals. Then we send this one to the other side. So it is positive here. When you bring it to the side, it becomes what? Negative. So it has to be minus 6x dx. This is also positive 2y dx. When you move it to this side, you cross the equal to sign. It has to be what? Minus 2y dx. Since we have it in this form, let's factor dy out in this side and also factor dx out here. So when we do that, we have what? 2x plus 12y squared dy. Okay. Equals. Then we also factor dx out at the side also. So that should give us negative 6x minus 2y 
dx okay so when we get to this stage remember we are interested in finding dy over dx so we can simply divide both sides by the coefficient of dy here which is 2x plus 12y exponent 2 so we divide both sides by that so that this will cancel this dy will be equal to negative 6x minus 2y all divided by 2x plus 12y squared times dx we want dy over dx okay not just dy so to get dy over dx it's either we divide both sides by dx or multiply both sides by 1 over dx okay so let's multiply both sides by 1 over dx when we multiply both sides by 1 over dx this dx can cancel this dx and then 1 over dx times dy should give you us dy over dx equals now we have only this right so that would be minus 6x minus 2y all divided by 2x plus 12y squared but when you look at this you see that there's a common factor of 2 so since there's a common factor of 2 let's factor 2 out from both the numerator and the denominator so when we factor 2 out in the bracket we have minus 3x minus y okay since we factor 2 out from the numerator and then at the denominator we also factor 2 out so we left with x plus 6y squared okay so that these two can cancel these two so dy over dx will be equal to minus 3x minus y all divided by x plus 6y squared so this is the answer to this but you can also leave your answer in this form that is you factor negative one out okay so it will make it negative into bracket but you have to bring a bracket negative into bracket 3x plus y all divided by x 6y squared if you want to leave your answer in this form you can write the numerator without a bracket that's minus 3x minus y but if you want to leave your answer in the in this form you need to bring a bracket after the negative else it will look like the negative is only affecting the 3x so you have to be careful that's the final answer to this so in the next video we take another question and see how to solve it thank you